more questions. What, what keeps you awake at night? If price wasn't an issue, what role would you want us to play in your business? So we try to get beyond price, you know, and really try to, try to I guess, soft focus on that initially to try to figure out what, what they're thinking. Um, what evidence will you need in six months to determine if you made the right decision to hire us? Yeah, so what, you know, what, what, what's the outcome you're looking for? If we can arrange to start, this one usually is, is the one that closes more deals than any other question I've ever found. If we can arrange to start this project the first of the month, is there any reason we should not go ahead? That, that, that question's worth the price of admission, I can guarantee it, if you're, if you're selling professional services and selling consulting services. Is that, you know, what, what are the reasons? Why aren't, we, why aren't we getting in there? You know, why aren't we signing an agreement? Remember, there's always asymmetrical information. Um, the information is unequally shared between the two parties. And quite often, we kind of assume we know what the other side's thinking about what we're talking about, but you should not assume that. You've got to ask a lot of questions. Um, before, you, before you ever start selling anything, try asking another question. You know, try digging a little deeper. Just keep, keep digging. Um, if buyers will not willingly share with you how much they value your services, you, but they will most likely tell you if you ask them in the right way and you kind of keep asking, you know, they'll give you an idea. And not just saying, you know, what's your budget for this? Um, that, that's usually not, not helpful. That kind of constrains them. But rather, you know, what, we're trying to get out what's the value for this. And, you know, you got to probably think beyond your budget because it might be a longer term investment to make this make this happen. Okay? So outside in pricing, ask the customer what they think it's worth. Has anybody tried that? Yeah? What's your experience been with that? Same you're saying there. If it's too low, you just walk. Mm -hmm. But generally, you'll get a higher number than you might have expected. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you can identify your A customers by asking them what they think it's worth, right? Because they'll tell you, you know, well, this is a, this is a really valuable service to us, and you know, we, we can expect to spend forty thousand dollars for this. And um, you know, that's that, and that also gives you gives you good parameters for where, where you might want to head with your with your proposal. Yes. Now sometimes what they think it's worth and what they can afford to pay, they'll willingly tell you that there's that discrepancy. Mm -hmm. I think you're worth a lot more. Yeah. But right now, due to this economy, here's where you fit in. Yeah, and you, you know, in that case, you might want to go to um, more of a contingent fee kind of arrangement, or a um, uh, you know, giving them some financing if you're comfortable that the business is going to be around. You know, so you you work a, you kind of work out some kind of deal. Yeah, that could definitely be that. Yeah. 